Hey guys, uh, what's up? Hello, welcome here. So I figured I'll do my skincare routine for you guys because, well, my skin has greatly improved from how it used to be. I know it's not quite there yet. It doesn't look flawless, flawless or anything like that, but my skin has improved like drastically from how it used to be and that is because of my skincare that I use and it's pretty affordable that's why I'm even wanting to talk about it but like I don't notice how much my skincare makes a difference to my skin until I don't follow my skincare routine consistently for a certain amount of time so like if I don't follow my skincare routine for like three days my skin goes crazy like my skin becomes disgusting okay so that's why I'm like I try to stay as consistent as I can I do get some lazy days <laughs> there are days where I come back from work and I'm too tired and there are days where I stay in bed until midday or like until in the evening so I don't really get to follow my skincare I just brush my teeth and I go about my business but today we are going to do our skincare and if you have oily combination acne prone poor filled like terrible skin like me this will probably help but so I'm just gonna go in with my cleanser and all I do is I pump two pumps and I massage it first on my dry face and then after that, I'm just gonna wet up my hand. So with a bit of water, wet my hand and then rub it in. So I just do this rub in motion for about a minute or two. I don't use any face brushes because I feel like they make my skin worse personally and I exfoliate my skin in other ways. You gotta make the ugly faces to get all in there all of these areas for me this is my problem area the most like when my skin misbehaves if I don't follow my skincare it's mainly here first that gets attacked and then everywhere else follows but this area just totally gets fucked I use a towel or a face cloth to wipe it off before rinsing off my face always use a separate towel to your face than you use on your hair or your body because you can transfer oils and bacteria from the rest of your body to your face and the skin on your face is like super delicate okay, so after cleansing I then tone my face and this is mainly how I exfoliate my skin because um, I don't really use physical exfoliators a lot because they kind of um, rip the surface texture of your skin so they create micro holes and over time it makes your skin worse than it is and for me I noticed that physical exfoliators tend to make me break out more so now all I have been using is my um, ordinary glycolic acid toning solution and basically anything that has um, glycolic acid is super exfoliating and it's good for your skin I know that pixie has one pixie beauty but the ordinary one is like super cheap it's about I think I got this for like seven pounds or eleven pounds I am not sure I got this from Beauty Bay and it's it's been working amazing I used up a whole one no I gotta use a new bowl and I just put that on a cotton pad now whenever you start a new skincare routine you're not going to see magic or changes in like a day or even two days like give your skin some time to adjust give the products time to work like me I know these products work because whenever I stop using them I can see the difference in my skin like whenever I don't follow my skincare like this area gets super dry super red I kind of develop eczema I don't I'm not sure if it's eczema but it's pretty similar I'm running out of breath quite a lot too so I'm just gonna leave this to dry down a little bit and then we're gonna go in with our serums our moisturizer and then we're done I need some water my view right now is pretty insane like I can't believe that I get to experience this that I get to see this view like it's insane to me okay now that your toner is pretty much dried down and has sipped into your skin you want to go in with your serum the serums you use depend on your skin problems what 
you're trying to target now for me mainly i want to restore moisture in my skin and balance my skin out because my skin is super super oily and um when you moisturize your skin enough you balance out the moisture that your skin needs and then it becomes less oily and more normal so that's one of my things and the, also another problem with targeting is my um, blemishes and my pores so those are the three things that i try to target with my serums and my skincare in general so i use um, hyaluronic acid and that is from the ordinary as well this is about five pounds i think and it's amazing and what this does is it um helps hydrate your skin so after rubbing it in what i do is i do this i kind of bounce it into my skin so my skin absorbs it faster now if you have time i always say after you do your skincare in between each product leave your skin for about five minutes so your skin can absorb everything um, normally if I'm like at home getting ready for work or something I would like put one serum then I will go off do something come back put the other serum that that way each product has time to sit in but this method I'm running out of breath a lot this morning oh yeah, and the good thing is with these serums they really absorb into your skin really quick like some serums leave like a very film like a film on top of your face and it doesn't feel like it's going in but this one like you feel it already drenching into your skin the other serum i use during the day is the niacinamide and it's 10 percent niacinamide and one percent zinc and what this does is it um targets your oiliness and it kind of just makes your skin matte but then it also helps dry out blemishes and it helps with pores and this is also great because i have been using this for a while now and again whenever i stop using them i notice how shit my skin goes and if i use them consistently my skin loves me for it okay so that is all of the serums i use during the day now at night i add two more serum products to my skin that i don't use during the day because it um one of them makes my skin super sensitive to sunlight and the other one is an oil which i will explain in my nighttime skincare routine why i use an oil at night that i don't use during the day um after all of that all i go in with is a moisturizer and this is the only expensive part of my skincare and it's a moisturizer by Kiehl's it is the ultra facial oil free gel cream now they have two types of this they have the normal one which is more for like drier normal skin and this is the oil um for the one for the oily combination skin and um basically it's a gel moisturizer that seeps into your skin so quick and it doesn't have any oil and it's oil free which is great and which is why i use it during the day and as you can see i have pretty much used all of it <laughs> only a little bit left now this i won't lie it's, it's expensive it's literally like 40 something pounds and to me that's expensive for a moisturizer but you can tell the difference it's really really good and it lasts you a really long time you only need this much the um, I wouldn't lie <laughs> that visual it does look like something else okay like the texture and everything it, it looks like something else but go in and after moisturizer you always need to use an eye cream even if you don't have dark circles even if you don't have wrinkles under your eyes it's kind of something you do for the long term personally i feel i have really deep set under eyes but that's not a skincare problem like that's pretty much how my my face has been all in my life it's a genetic situation it lasts a really long time because you're literally only using that much and you don't need a lot just put a little bit of that and the rest thank you for watching guys i hope that um this was a bit helpful if you have used any of this product or if you have like any more suggestions from the ordinary line because they have such a massive range of skincare like their serums and everything is so affordable and it's by a company called Desium. so like if you have any suggestions if you have any products you've used if you've used any of these products let me, let us know down in the comments section below how they worked for you let the other people know like you know which of them is your favorite which one of them you swear by 
and if you have the same skin type as someone else in the comment section and you have a product that works give them suggestions and everything like that but remember skincare is really personal and what works for me or what works for the next person might not work for you so i will see you guys in the next video and i'll be sharing my nighttime skincare because at night there are other important things that you need to add to your skincare and you need to keep in mind of oh one more thing if you're doing your skincare during the day you do need to wear spf i don't don't kill me bye bye but you do don't do do as i say don't do as i do okay okay do as i do to a certain extent but also do what i say